now this is how 8284 clock generator looks it has the different inputs it has some different digital logics oscillator and gates or gates and through which the logical operations are being performed and the reset oscillator frequency the pre clock clock signals are being provided to the external microprocessors now operation of clock section consist crystal oscillator have the input x1 and x2 if the crystal is attached to x1 and x2 the oscillator generates a square wave signal at the same frequency as the crystal so if the crystal is attached to x1 x2 the oscillator frequency has the same frequency which is being provided from the external oscillator the square wave is fed to the and gate and the inverting buffer to provide the oscillator output so for providing the output to the oscillator it is fed through the and gate the oscillator signal is sometimes used as a as an efi input to other 8284 circuit in the signal so basically for what purpose this oscillator signal is used so whenever we are requiring two or more 8284 clock generator in a system so this oscillator signal is being provided to the clock or efi pin of the 8284 now how this looks in the interfacing of 8284 interfacing so from 8284 side the x1 and x2 connect signals are being connected through the external clock frequency external crystal of 15 megahertz and from this the clock is sent as a 5 megahertz frequency so as you can see the frequency is divided by 3 as we discuss in the pin diagram so 15 megahertz of the frequency is converted into 5 megahertz apart from that the f oblique c bar is used for selecting efi pin or x1 and x2 and c sync pin for syncing between the external clock and the internal clock apart from that the rc circuit is being used for power on reset and from the 8086 side the clock is provided clock signal of the output of 8284 is provided to the clock of 8086 and reset out pin of the 8284 is provided to the reset in of 8086